So apparently I can't find that video of the young man in prison who was talking about the issues with having Kamala Harris in office. I really respected his bluntness and honesty, but this is the reason why I need to be transparent because now the video is deleted because of Instagram. But let's talk about Roland Martin today. So Roland Martin, if y'all don't know, he owns News One. It's a news channel. And it talks about black issues. And I'll say this. I, I used to be a very big fan of Roland Martin. But his arrogance was what really, really got me feeling some type of way. Because he's, he's innately arrogant. He talks down to a lot of his black guests. And I realized that too. And he's just a shield for the Democratic Party. Similar to how... Jesse Lee Peterson is a shield for the Republican Party. You know, but we're not talking about Jesse Lee Peterson right now. We're talking about Roland Martin. Another, this is the issue I have with him. And then another thing is he's just kissing up to these, these other big mainstream news corporations. And he just brings nothing, nothing to the table, nothing constructive. And that's, that's my issue with him. And the reason why I Post, not posted this. I didn't post it, so somebody else that posted this picture. It's quite funny. It's quite comical. But this is in regards to Roland Martin. You know, you see him. He's twerked up golfing with some some of his boys, and it looks like he's twerking. I'm just like, uh, bro, why are you twerking for other dudes, man? And you married with a wife? I'm like, what you doing, man? But that's what I'm saying is that Roland Martin is not to be taken seriously anymore he's he's lo he's losing his juice he's losing his juice and he's just becoming more and more desperate for that for that green you know and he's he's just a shield for the democratic party similar to jesse lee peterson and that his only objection is to get money you know and to go to those dinners and be with those elitists elitists and stuff that's that's his his whole mean mentality you know he's he's a hus he's he's hustling people you know and his thing is that he has a quota to meet if he doesn't get these many black people to vote he do he doesn't eat let's keep it at that so that's why he's been aggressive in calling all these black men who didn't who don't even support either party he's calling us whole taps he's calling us all types of Bad, bad names, you know, and my bad again, I had my do-rag on, I'm just, just couldn't sleep, you know, just had to make this video, and then the, this, the, the knot is on the front instead of the back, but yeah, <laughs> the, the innate arrogance of Roland Martin is what got him in this position, and this is why nobody takes him seriously, and this is an issue I have with many, many of our leaders, regardless if they're in the, in the U.S. or in the continent, is that they don't do anything. They really don't. Other leaders, they do a lot of things, other, whether they're police officers or whether they're sheriffs of a, count, of a county. They do a lot. But when it comes to our leaders, presidents, prime ministers, city, or city officials, they just, they just kind of sit there and let everybody else dictate what's going on, you know? And they just write essays about how bad things are. And yeah, I understand how bad things are. And it's good that you write in that. But you, you also have power too. And you also have much more power than you think. Because you are you are an elected official. Or a new news agency. And you can implement change more than the average person like me can do. You know, I mean, I'm trying to... I, I'm not, like, I do, I do what I can, you know. But I don't have juice like... Van Jones or Roland Martin. I'm not. I'm not disrespecting them. I'm just, or even Jesse Lee Peterson. I'm not being rude or being innately arrogant. I'm just calling it what it is because it, that's facts. I mean, you can't. You can't deny how, like how, how little views I get and how much he gets at the end of the day. But yeah, that's that's just my thoughts for today. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I'm gonna see y'all later, and. If somebody can find me that video, please send it to me because I've been looking for it everywhere. It got taken down, but I need to be more transparent again in regards to 
many days before they get taken down. Anyways, y'all have a blessed day. See y'all later.